All right, Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, oh boy, three days after launch, and I already feel like I'm too late on this one. But it's always the struggle. I always try to test thoroughly, and this one was um was actually a little bit more complicated than what I was expecting. So I decided to go mouse and keyboard, which gives me better gyro. Yeah, better gyro flight control. Um, there are a couple of things I'm going to recommend you do just to avoid troubles with this. Okay, so let's, um, let's, yeah, let's just do that first. All right, so to access this, you know, go to, go to controller configuration. X to browse configs, go to community. This is pod racing. Now, if you happen to see, this is pod racing Star Wars Squadrons, ignore that one. I tried to delete that one, but Steam's being fussy with me. That one has, uh, that one had a bug in it. So just ignore that. Look for, this is pod racing. Bam. That's it. Because the first one, when I uploaded it at first, in this, it was right here. Unless I forced that to have an empty binding, it was still inheriting the gyro mouse from the default, even though it said nothing was bound. So that was just a bug. And that was kind of... could potentially create some issues when you want all controller stuff. So... The one thing is, I just just to explain why, is okay, if I switch to my mouse, if I move to the right and then let go, it keeps drifting. I do not like that. Now the game has a recenter, which is push X on the keyboard, that recenters you. So I have, on this right trackpad, let go of trackpad, recenters, which feels great in flight. The only time that's a problem is in the menu. So what you need to do is go into controls, let's hide that, click on the cog wheel, remap controls, menus, and it's right here, exit. This will be X for yours, just clear it out. And the only place I've noticed that so far is in the customization menu, which, I mean, it could be, it's pretty frustrating if you come across it because you let go of the mouse and it's going to back you out of the menu. So you just need to do that. And the other thing is in uh, options, options, controls. This mouse screen motion range. I believe the default was like 68 or something. I'm not going to mess with it right now because I have it where I like it. I put it down to 30. And basically what that is is like the box, kind of like mouse region. It's, it's like the box on the screen for your cursor. Up at the default, that felt kind of sluggish, especially using gyro. Get that back up. Like I was having to really like, whoa, like twist it really far to get to the full range. And it's it's extra slow right now because I'm because I was just sitting still. Okay, so you just need to tweak those, like definitely unbind X, just because that will frustrate and cause some issues in the menus. And oh yeah, that feels really good. Now that release, I also do have trackball, so if you just do a swipe, it's going to wait a little bit, like swipe, then recenter. But I'm mostly using the gyro. So, you know, just gyro, whoop, let go. Whoop, let go. So, okay. We got that out of the way. Oh, that looks cool. So, alright, if you noticed, I made priority to the engines. That's, I have track, 
I have a D-pad edge clicks on the right pad. That's really just mimicking the controller D-pad. So you have... I'm on engine right now. Up. Weapon priority. Shields. Down is... Balance. Middle is free look. You just hold that. That's a little bit of a change too. So you just hold, look around like you want to track, let go, hold, let go, instead of making it a toggle. And just, just in case, because this actually came up while I was testing it, I was in one of the practice modes and it pulled up a confirmation, like a pop-up over the while I was holding the free look and it toggled that free look when I didn't want it to be on. So while you're holding this right pad click, you can click left pad or left stick click just in case for some reason it got stuck on, but only when it pulled up some menu while I was free looking did that happen to me. So just as an example, I'm going to, so I'm going to push my keyboard, toggle free look. So right now we're stuck in free look. So if I click in, I'm toggling it off while I'm holding free look. I let go. I'm stuck like, uh, this is, it's all screwed up. So go into your free look and then click the left stick. Now let go toggled off okay so that's really just I'm covering all my bases I put that in there in the rare instance where you're free looking and then a menu takes over because what I'm doing is when you click in here you have a start press toggle free look release press Toggle free look, which I've, I've turned the toggle into a hold with a start and a release press. Okay, so that's that. The other control thing, just through my testing, was a lot of these controls are... Like, if you go in here for menus, I mean, there are a lot of pretty weird bindings like G, K, P, O, B, like what? I don't, I don't want any of that. That's way too much to bother with. So what I did is hold right grip. Now you have all controller functions. I mean, actually I could still <laughs> yeah, this is it's all controller while you're holding the grip. And that was mainly just for some peculiarities with making it easier to get through the menus. So everything on this, let's get that out of the way. Everything on this is pretty much trying to copy over to their controller layout with just some tweaks that I felt were more important, like I changed, I changed the targeting a little bit on theirs. Left trigger was target ahead. And then a button was cycle targets. Cycling target would target the closest thing to you. So I made that regular press on the trigger and then long press is target ahead. So, all right. Uh, Long press, yep. Regular press. Okay, wait, let's, so let's go. Full pull is your targeting wheel. I want allies. Okay, so now regular press, yeah. Regular, regular. I want to get back to this guy. Long press to target ahead. Okay. Yeah, that, that feels pretty good to me. 
And then the full pull just to change change the priority. Um shield priority, I put that on the left stick. So just up. Yeah, over here, this the left stick. Up was shield priority. You can see it on the right hand side there. Down to the back. Middle balances it. That is on this X button, but you will not be able to f access it. I mainly kept this as the X button on a controller just for menu stuff. So if you click in here, you're not going to be able to do it. I just want to be clear on that because I actually... Here, I'm pushing my keyboard C. You can pull it up that way too and then use the mouse. I find it way easier to just flick the stick. Up, down, center. Uh, Protect yeah. this for me. Yeah, Y button is ping the target two times to acknowledge a ping or acknowledge a hail, whatever it was. Left on the stick is the emote wheel, which is control. So that's also the priority for there. So I could blind fire my missile. Right is communications. Not terrible. Left pad is just the basic throttle up down with roll. Yeah, I mean everything else is just pretty basic. I put keyboard on a long press. Oh, two two X double tap on the right pad is context. Contextual Interaction Z, which I haven't actually come across yet. I haven't finished the story, but... So I'm not sure when that'll pop up, but I wanted to put it there just in case. And I also don't have Push to Talk anywhere. That's just kind of a preference thing. I haven't really heard anybody talking. I was playing multiplayer last night, but... That could be changed. So yeah, alright, I think that's it. No gameplay, I really just wanted to keep try to just go over the controller config real quick on this one, which I know it wasn't as quick as I would have liked, because there was more to it than what I thought. But this is feeling pretty good. I feel like I got it test tested out pretty well. Woohoo! Yeah, and I can maneuver around pretty good here. Do some priority to the engines. Do a nice little boost, drift. Yeah. So, all right. Yep, that's all I got. I will see you around. I felt like I was all over the place. I can't even remember what I covered and what I didn't cover. Yeah, a little um behind the scenes thing. I recorded this like three or four times because I kept getting extra distracted and not really knowing what the hell I was talking about. It's because I was try I'm trying to kind of rush this one out as quickly as possible because I know people are waiting on it. So, Rio, that's that. <laughs> hey, Mom. Yes, you. Why fuss and fret about dinner? Why not have it right here? Yes, this drive-in offers everyone in the family a real picnic treat for dinner. We've got delicious sandwiches with all the trimmings and your other dinner favorites, plus whatever you want to drink, hot or cold. Come early before the show starts, or eat while you're being entertained, or at intermission time. So why fuss? Give your family a tasty dinner at this drive-in.